What's up, guys? Welcome back to another cool episode of Alabama Big Bass. I'm your host, Matthew Biles. Today, we're going to be fishing... a drop shot uh, with a, about a foot of a liter and a quarter ounce a little weight for to get through this grass here um come over here the worm I'm using this is all my drop shot stuff at some point we might go down and fish down there if we do, we'll have my bait caster and tie this on, this wobbly head. Um, I may use these handmade Senkos if it comes down to it, but uh, my main bait of choice for this drop shot is going to be the uh, Fat Baby Finesses. And uh, I have a new segment today. Well, this is the first time I've ever done this segment, and this is my second fishing video. Um, I'm going to try to get a lot more videos uploaded. I really got to get a bigger YouTube channel. Um, I have been fishing a lot lately, and the fish, since it's coming to be fall, have been biting a lot lately. So, uh, yeah. Stay tuned. I'll get back to you when we catch a fish. Guys, first fish of the day. I know he's a dinker. He is such a little guy. Uh... If we were having a tournament, he wouldn't even count. I actually had him on the scale. The what, the measurement board. Um, he's only 10 inches. In tournaments, they got to be 12. So if I was having a tournament, he wouldn't even count. Got to get him back in the water. Stay tuned. See you when you catch another fish. Okay. Fishing up here, I caught one fish. Now the question is... How many fish will I catch down there? By the time my wobbly head jig, for those of you that don't know what a wobble head jig is, it's this little thing. I don't know. That's green pumpkin blue flake, but uh, what's the color of that thing? I don't know what soft plastic it is though. I just like them. Fish love them. And uh, here's another one. I have to I'll uh, tie this on and go back and get some nice soft plastics um, here's another one gotta get some crawfish this is my equipment for the day this is all I got for the day if I have to I can go back to the house and get some stuff but uh, right now this is what I'm limited down to unless I go make a trip back to the house but uh, stay tuned and keep watching good to you when we get down there Here we are, folks. It's a little bit windy, but uh, I can handle it. Can't wait to catch some fish down here. Monsters come on this. Well, I haven't caught anything yet, but I've only made two casts. Oh, my mom You gotta really work these jigs slow. I mean, I see uh, people all the time when I'm out fishing. They're working jigs like this. Um, you, you don't need to do that. Um, you need to, um, slow. This is what I do. And if you not get a bit like that, don't even tap it. Kind of drag it into the ground. That's my two main concerns. I really like the, um, soft plastic lure I got on this wobbly head because, um, the, the um, top plastic, you can swim it and you can bounce it. So, just keep that in mind. Bust! The wind's messing me up really bad. Um, I had one get off on the bank. Um, but uh, I'm going to this dock that's over here. Maybe it'll be protected from the wind. Uh, just hoping that it's protected from the wind. It's got a lot of stumps so. though. Last time I got hung up here, I broke my rod. Uh, for the fact that it's got so many stumps and, and I got it hung up 
so good. The knot was tied. I had really heavy line. That's the dock. I have nowhere to put my phone, to be honest. I got pockets. Don't know how well it's going to help me, though. Because, uh, pockets. Uh, that's the brush pile I'm mainly catching that up down here. Hopefully there'll be one sitting in there. Stay tuned and we'll get back to the catch up. Bust. Well, not a total bust. I caught one fish. But, I thought that uh, he might have been a sign. I didn't show him you guys, he was little. I thought he might have been a sign. And they were biting since it was a spotted bass. And for those of you that don't live in Alabama, the Alabama spotted bass, they all look the same. They have different habits because their mind frames are different species. Uh, you got the Alabama spotted bass, what I'm used to fishing. Uh, Kentucky spotted bass have a whole different, whole different pattern. Alabama spotted bass, I don't know what any other spotted bass is like, but uh, um, Alabama spotted bass, they are uh, pretty, uh, pretty consistent. If you catch one, you can normally catch another. The mobile, baby. The mobile. Just so you know, um, this is not a crime. I am not very far from where uh, I'm staying right now. Uh, this is where I come on the weekends, but uh, I'm not very far. It's right down the road, down that way. So, yeah. See you guys later. Uh, I gotta go back. I'm guessing I'm just gonna go back and try to catch fish on the drop shot that I have rigged up waiting. Stay tuned. I wish I had a frog. That'd be awesome if I just had a frog. Almost messed up big time there. I wish I had a frog. I do have some at the house, but you know. Stay tuned. Boom! Ow. Got sharp teeth. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look at how he ate that drop shot too. That's perfect. A little large mouth. Third fish of the day, but you only got to see two. This is the second one I've showed you. He came out of nowhere and just ate that drop shot. <sighs> okay. So, uh, I'm gonna get you, watch you, let you watch the release and then I'll see when you catch another fish. Yeah, they watch, let y'all watch me get a release on this guy. He would count in a tournament. He would count in a tournament. Uh, he's 12, exactly 12 inches long, in fact. I don't know if you guys can see, but I can see the bottom in there. There he goes. I'm gonna catch another one. See you guys when I catch another fish. Sucky day of fishing. The video's about to be over, but uh, I really wanted to do that new segment I was talking about. Uh, I just, I don't feel like it. Um, I'm pointing it towards the drill. I don't want anyone to know where I'm going, which is why I'm pointing it towards the Um, uh, you know, people just, uh, I blame the wind for it. Uh, it's a bad day. And, uh, I just blame the wind. Uh, you know. Uh, that's the end of the day. Remember, keep fishing. Um, uh, hope, hope you take real good care of your fishing equipment. And, uh, have a good fishing event. That's all I can say.